What's up guys, this is Warith Al Ma'uli. Today I'll be talking about uh, Veracrypt. So what is Veracrypt? Veracrypt is a software utility that can be used to encrypt your hard drives, internal hard drives, external hard drives, flash memories, and even hardware encrypted flash memory can be double encrypted with Veracrypt. This one uses AES, American Encryption uh, Standard, but if I don't trust the manufacturer of this flash, I would always use Veracrypt on top of it. So let's go back. They started as TrueCrypt and it was an open source project. They discontinued and someone has forked this project and made it actually better today and called it Veracrypt. So, so with Veracrypt, you can encrypt your hard drives. You can also create containers and those containers are actually files, encrypted files. You can mount them as drives, so it will be listed on your PC as one of the drives. It can have letter U, D, whatever you decide that letter to, to mount it on. And once you mount that container, you'll be able to see the files inside it, the one you put and you want to protect. Once you dismount, you won't be able to see those files. Of course, you're using a normal password to, to, to access those files, and that password should be strong. Uh, for paranoid users, you can always use files as password. So you can set a photo or any random file to be your password. And for the advanced user as well, para those paranoid users, they have something called PIM, which is personal iteration multiplier it, it uses to control the number of iterations in a TrueCrypt uh, header or a Veracrypt header which is called Veracrypt now you can always always create traveler disks so don't worry if if you are traveling and you say oh maybe in the, I'm having my container maybe in in Dropbox so when I'm traveling maybe to to Netherlands I need to access that file and I don't have internet there to access Veracrypt and download it. So you can always create a traveler disk and it will set up all the files on a flash memory. So once you plug in the flash memory, it will open your Veracrypt and you'll be ready to mount your encrypted containers. You can always uh, create a rescue disk. So uh, the encryption is, is always kept on the headers of those containers. So some if, I never had this issue, but if you had this issue uh, where the, the header gets corrupted, you can always use the rescue disk to, to recover your files. It's a very powerful, uh, powerful tool. I would really recommend anyone to use it. And one of the bonuses that this software has is you can benchmark those uh, algorithms that is using and you can combine more than one algorithm to encrypt your containers can you imagine that it's it's so nice you can always you can also have encrypted container inside of an encrypted another encrypted container so let's say you are forced to to open an encrypted container today to reveal your files and you don't want to do that you can always have hidden container inside that container so they will reveal you to open the container which they see you can always by the way, you can always name your containers as Excel file or as a movie file. So no one knows actually it's a Veracrypt uh, container. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you to use the Veracrypt extension. So just try to hide those containers always. But in case someone knows that that container, that movie is not actually a movie, it's a container. And he, he forces you to reveal that what is inside that container. You can always do it. Just dismount the thing, show him. But actually, inside that container, you have another hidden container which has your classified files you don't want to share with anyone. So I would really recommend uh, to use this tool any day. I myself personally use it every day. And you can store anything because you can actually store any type of file. So you can store your your let's say cryptocurrency private keys in there you can store your key pass you can store even your vm vms you might have vms that you don't want anyone to see so you can 
store the entire operating system as a virtual operating system inside those containers you can encrypt your entire windows or entire mac can you imagine if if you have a windows that no one can access except you like whatever they do they cannot access it because it's been encrypted by veracrypt so once the pc boots up you you'll be asked to enter your veracrypt password not your bio, bio s which can be bypassed no you use your veracrypt encryption tool to encrypt your entire system and trust me once you have that no one can access your windows or your mac or linux without having the proper password thank you very much uh, for watching make sure you subscribe and leave your comments below thank you very much bye bye